¿Hasta dónde vas a llegar? ¿A dónde me, me dejaron? Eh, muy contento, una temporada otra vez única. Ganamos la Liga, ganamos la Champions. En términos colectivos es impresionante. Mi equipo ha estado muy bien, fenomenal y a nivel individual. Yo ha estado también muy bien, así que me preparé para estar bien a fase final de, de la Liga y de la Champions también. Y, y marqué goles importantes, así que estoy muy contento y, y feliz. Hola Cristiano, Hola. Javier Rodríguez de Radio Internacional de España. Quería preguntarte si bajo tu punto de vista posiblemente haya sido el partido más completo, más bien la final más completa del Real Madrid, sobre todo en esta historia moderna, las cinco Champions que ha conseguido desde el año 1998. No, fue un partido muy equilibrado. Yo, yo he visto el primer tiempo muy... El Juve entró muy bien en el partido, ha creado algunas op oportunidades, pero yo pienso que el segundo tiempo Real Madrid ha estado impresionante. Eh, nuestros medios muy bien, la defensa muy arriba y los goles han venido en un proceso natural muy bien. Casemiro, después yo y Marco. Así que el segundo tiempo fue, fue de los mejores seg segundos tiempos que, que Real Madrid ha hecho esta temporada. Así que muy contento. Una Champions es siempre complicado ganarla. Y además con un equipo que no sufría goles, tenía tres goles sufridos en toda la competición y sufrir hoy cuatro no es fácil. Cristiano, over here. Uh, congratulations Thanks. on another title. Um, you've been upset at some times this year with the Real Madrid fans with the whistling. What is your message to them given what you've achieved? And also at 32, what a year with the, with the European um, title with Portugal all the way through to this. What are you doing to sort of maintain this sort of strength at, uh, at this age? Well, it's not the moment to speak about that. I speak already a few times about that. The most important is that I did, again, amazing season. Uh, me and my teammates, we win the double. I think the people uh, don't have words to criticize because the numbers don't lie, you know. To speak about myself, individual, I, I don't need to speak because the numbers, they don't lie. I'm very happy. Uh, amazing season again. We win trophies, and uh, of course, it's one of the best moments in my career. I have opportunity to say that every year, <laughs> but it's true. This year was amazing again. Last year was amazing too. So it's great. Now uh, I have two, three days off uh, to rest, and after we have a qualified game for Portugal and we have Confederation Cup. Long season, but I'm motivated. I'm, I'm happy. Um, a good moment, and uh, my head is just a number. I, I feel like, like a young boy. Mr. Ronaldo, thank you for your time. Okay, thank you, guys. Gracias. Do it the right trajectory. Go to the net. Uh, um, of course, I know. If you have positive thoughts. This is help that things going better, and this is why I always do it. My sub, I don't thinking about that, but my my subconscious, they thinking. This is why. Well, you come back, you score the winner. Sum up your return. Well, it was unbelievable night. Uh, for me, a uh, very emotional uh, game. In my opinion, Manchester play unbelievable game. Uh, and uh, you know, we scored the second goal. Uh, we go through, but I think Manchester we deserve too. Both of the teams deserve uh, to go through, and uh, for me it was a, a great night. Uh, you know, to be back here to my second home, it was unbelievable. Explain that moment when you scored, and the emotion. What sort of emotion was it? Well, uh, you know, different to any goal. It's different. Um, to be honest, I, I think I am in, in the both games a little bit shy in my game. I don't know why, how to explain that. Uh, maybe because I was too much emotional because, you know, I played six years in this club and, you know, when you want to do better things and you don't coming out of your, your game, this is what I feel. But, you know, I help my team, you know, to win, to go through. And um, I feel happy for one side and I feel sad for another side. But this is the football, this is my life. I have, to, I have to, to, to do my best for Real Madrid. When you saw Nani get the red card, what did you think? Well, to be honest... Did you believe it? No, I didn't see, I, I didn't see why, I didn't see the, the replay. 
And uh, you know, this is uh, happening in the football. Uh, mistakes, uh, yellows, reds. This is part of the football. But to be honest, I didn't see uh, the replay. I cannot, I cannot say nothing because I don't know if it if it was a red card. Manchester United aren't happy. They feel cheated. It's no cheated is not is not it's a strong word. I think it's a strong word because you know if you if you see the both games, it was 50-50. Um, we play better than home. We create more chances than them. Here, maybe Manchester create uh, more chances than in Bernabeu. But in the end of the day, I think um, we deserve because we we don't play fantastic, but we deserve because we uh, the, the the total of the opportunities. I think we we had more. What have you proved in the last week? Two wins against Barcelona, a win against Manchester United. Is this the best week of your club career? Maybe so far, yes. Um, to play uh, against. One of the best teams in the world, which is Barcelona and and and, Real, and uh, Manchester United too, it was great. We we are confident. Uh, the team it's it's improved a lot, and we are in a good in a good shape. We want to carry on like that. We are in the final of the the cup. We go through in the Champions League. We are in a, in a good way. What have you proved? What has Jose Mourinho proved? Because he's had his critics. It's just his opinion. Uh, we have to respect anyone have his, his, his own opinion. In my opinion, we deserve to, to go through because uh, this is two games, not only one. See you back at Wembley. Thank you. <laughs> well done. Maybe. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Cristiano, how did you win that game? After the Champions League, uh, I think uh, the team show it's a little bit tired. It's a very tough game, uh, very difficult. I think Fulham play play very well, and think. Um, me in the, in the first in the first minute, I feel good. I keep the ball and I try I try to go to the to the net and I score score goal important goal and I'm I'm very happy. Tell me about your goal celebration. Why did you run straight to Gary Neville? No, Gabby. 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 Uh, no, because he's my friend. It's not only Gabby for for the bank for for my players for my colleagues Patrice Gary, but special for for Gabby because he's my, he's a good friend and. Uh, he, he told me before the game, uh, I score one goal, and I go straight to him. Did you think that Fulham had much the better of the chances? Do you think you are lucky in some ways? Uh, maybe. Uh, I think Fulham uh, play play better in the, in the second half. But the football is like that. Sometimes uh, you play you play better and you don't you don't win you don't win the game. And today, uh, I think Manchester uh, keep a little bit lucky, but the football is like this. But I think the the the, the, the Manchester play play hard, uh, and this is important for the team. Nine points clear now. Can Chelsea catch you? Uh, you need you need to look for for itself. I think the most important is the is Manchester. You don't think about the the, the Chelsea. He's nine points in the front. It's a very important. It's a good vantage, vantage. But uh, you need to carry on. Well done, Cristiano. You're the Barclays man of the match. Thank you very much. Thank you. It was huge for Swedish football. What, what was it like to be here for you? Well, it was great. It's not my first time that I that I'm here. Uh, I was at last uh, two years ago, last year, uh, when we played against uh, Sweden. I have fantastic memories. So it's a fantastic country. Uh, country. So I'm so glad uh, to coming here and to score again. And tell us a bit about the game. Well, the game it was um, a little bit tough. Uh, we knew that uh, Malmo, they were, were is play uh, behind uh, the lines, behind the, the half pitch. So we knew it uh, it will be difficult. But I think uh, the team played good. Uh, we controlled the game in the 19 minutes. 100% a nível uh, físico porque ha estado parado mucho tiempo. Pero eu penso que foi ha hecho un bom trabajo e o de equipo uh, estamos na final que era o principal objetivo. Bueno, la verdad que sabíamos que teníamos que marcar. Uh, pero como ha dicho antes, el primer partido ahí en Manchester merecimos también marcar un gol. Hoy también, y por eso, como ha dicho, fuimos el mejor equipo y somos justos, estamos justos en la final. Bueno, es una final, es 50-50, otra vez, dos años después, dos o tres, dos años. Uh, otra vez, yo muy contento, una equipa española, uh, eso demuestra la calidad que tiene la Liga Española. Y bueno, uh, vamos a ver uh, lo que va a pasar, disfrutar y, 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 y ver.
lo que va a pasar. Bueno, Zidane está haciendo un trabajo bueno, está tranquilo, nos está ayudando a nosotros, nosotros estamos ayudando también y estamos muy contentos con su trabajo. Yo, como ha dicho un par de días en la entrevista, lo que deseo es que Zidane pueda seguir porque yo lo admiro como entrenador, como persona y por eso lo que quiero es que, que siga con nosotros. Siempre, siempre estábamos con el entrenador, es Zizou. Porque es una persona humilde, una persona que le gusta aprender, una persona que le gusta escuchar a los jugadores y cuando así es más fácil. Mucho, muy feliz, obvio. Sigo siendo también el jugador que ha hecho más minutos, así que sí. fue una gestión, una gestión inteligente de parte de Zizou y de todos mis compañeros también, pero me siento bien. El momento que, que llegamos, el equipo está en un momento dulce y hay que aprovecharlo. Eh, queríamos mucho ganar la liga y eso nos tranquilizó mucho. Sí. Y ahora sabemos que tenemos una oportunidad única y es un recorte que también queremos pues que... Se la primera equipo sí. a ganar dos veces. I know that I'm example. I know 100% in the pitch and outside the pitch. So I'm always smile. I'm happy man. I'm blessed that I play in a fantastic club. I have a fantastic family. I have four kids. I'm healthy. I have everything. So the rest it doesn't interfere on me. So I'm very very glad. That second goal, your free kick, that's almost becoming your trademark, that style of free kick. Have you got a name for it? Rocket. <laughs> no. Uh, well, when you... You have now, trust me, it's the I rocket. Like, I like, I like to, to listen when people say the Ronaldo rocket. I like, uh, but uh, no, a joke. I think ano após ano vamos tentando melhorar sempre algum aspecto. I think there are always things to improve. As I said, é, o jogador completo que eu sou, mas já há sempre coisas é, a poder aperfeiçoar. E com a idade também, coisas que se calhar éramos tão bons e agora vamos perdendo algumas habilidades e tentar adaptar-se. Eu acho que essa é a palavra fundamental. Se um jogador quer ter longevidade, tem que ter um poder de adaptação muito grande e tem que ter estas características também para essa adaptação. E é isso que foi aquilo que eu tentei fazer. Não é coincidência que eu já estou há 20 anos ao mais alto nível uh, e, e manter essa performance eu acho que é extremamente difícil só com muita dedicação e trabalho é que conseguimos alcançar esses, esses dados Não, para mim é um orgulho sabendo que sou ou que serei o primeiro jogador da história a fazer seis europeus deixa-me feliz porque esse demonstra a longevidade que eu tenho feito no futebol uh, mas é só, é só um capítulo da daquilo que o Cristiano Ronaldo tem feito no futebol. Mas sinto-me feliz, sinto-me privilegiado de estar na seleção de Portugal, poder ajudar a seleção a alcançar os seus objetivos e aquilo que eu mais quero é, é poder ganhar e, e isso é o nosso foco principal. Mention, to mention Leo e Neymar to be here. Real Madrid, supporters, my teammates, my coach, my president. They'll support all the year, so I have to say thank you to them.